Job chapter 40 verse 7. It is time that you put your strength together because you have to win this war. It is time that you arm yourself and tell yourself, I'm taking back all that is mine. It is time that you put your strength together and tell yourself, I'm going out there and I'm going to gain the victory. It is time that you go out there with confidence like Deborah and tell yourself, I will stand out and I will see it change in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, there is an unusual strength inside of you and that strength must win. That strength must have victory and you need to get yourself together upon it. God himself was the one that arose first as the man of war. In Exodus chapter 15 verse 3, the word of God says, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. You need to rise also and say, I'm a man of war. I'm a woman of war. And I will rise so that my name will be recorded that by the grace of God, this victory was brought to my family. That by the grace of God, I pulled out my family from the shackles of death. That by the grace of God, I snatched my family out of the claws and out of the teeth of the evil ones. They are child of God. They are people who wants to do everything to see that you are destroyed. And you need to arise and put your strength together and say, I will get back all that is mine. And say, I will redeem my family. And say, I will get my life back. Indeed, you have been seeking for peace, but they did not want peace. It is time that you go out in war and say, I would win and get my victory. Dear child of God, you need to arm yourself with light. You need to arm yourself with all the weapons that you need because you must get this victory. You must tell all those who have said you will not know peace that the victory is yours and you are an overcomer. He says that you are mighty in God and you will see victory all the way in the mighty name of Jesus. They may come before you in so many ways. They may have gathered in whatever means they wanted to gather. But he said, they will surely scatter their child of God. You have the victory in you. So you need to put up the whole armor of God. He said, arm yourself with these things. Because this is the reason you need to put up the old armor to see that all of these things that are combating against you, to see that all of these things that wanted to destroy you, that each and every one of them are destroyed. It is time that you arise and wake up and tell yourself, I'll be strong in the power and in the might of God, that I will put on the old armor of God, that I may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, against the wiles of the enemy. It would say in Ephesians 6 verse 11, put on the whole armor of God, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, there are spiritual wickedness in high places. So you need to tell yourself, I'll put on the old armor so that I'll be able to stand against the evil days, the days that they have planned to destroy me. I will stand. The days they have planned to destroy my family will withstand. The day that they have planned to destroy my business, I will stand and see that my business is redeemed and see that my business is rescued. You see, David will come to a point in Psalms 120 verse 7 where he said, I am for peace. But when I speak, they are for war. David will say that he came for peace, but they were for war. He would come to that point of expressing it that he wanted peace, but all they wanted was war. He came to the point where he had expressed that he wanted to see peace reign, but all they desired was to see war. And then he would respond and grace was upon his life. And you saw that he had victory on all sides. And all the enemies that fought against him, the word of God recorded that he won over each and every one of them. Yes, you have tried to make peace with them, but they did not want peace. 
It's time that you tell yourself, the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to pull down the strongholds, to pull down the strongholds against my family, to pull down the strongholds against my life, to pull down the strongholds against my marriage, to pull down the strongholds against my health, to pull down the strongholds against my business. He said, get your strength together like a man of war. You need to arise and take up the armor of God. You need to arise because of this reason and harm yourself in God because there is a battle in front of you and you must win. He said, the night is far gone and the day is near. So let us put off the works of darkness, arming ourselves with light. Romans 13 verse 12 says, the night is far gone and the day is near. So let us put off the works of the dark, arming ourselves with light. He says, wherefore, take unto you the old armor of God that he may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand he said stand therefore dear child of god please take up your stand guard your lungs take up your stand put on the whole armor necessary because you must win in this fight and you will see to it that you are not losing nothing you will see to it that when you count everything is in order in your life Moses had a great testimony in Numbers 31 verse 49 the word of God said and they said unto Moses thy servants have taken the sum of the men of war which are under our church and they lacketh not one man of us they lacketh not one man of us none of the men were lost dear child of God you will not lose anything in this war you will not be a casualty in the name of Jesus. No member of your family will be a casualty in the mighty name of Jesus. Rather, you'll be rising up in triumph. You'll be rising up in victory because the Lord is with you and the Lord is for you. He said, be ready with the good news. Be ready with the good news. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 15. Be ready with this good news. When you will tell every member of your family, we went out there and we saw the victory and each and every one of us are intact everything that we had is intact dear child of god this will be your testimony you will tell yourself that god brought to you a great victory he brought it to jehoshaphat that every of the enemies helped to destroy one another and the people of god were intact no one was hurt no one was destroyed so it will be for you you will have this same testimony that when you look around you you will see that everything is intact nothing was lost jesus had that testimony and then he said he had lost none so it will be for you dear child of god guard yourself and tell yourself i will go out there and see victory for myself and for my family yes i have needed peace but when i spoke they wanted war and here is my response to them because the weapons of my warfare are not carnal. So I will stand in that mighty weapon of God and see to it that every stronghold against my life are pulled down. Every stronghold against my family are pulled down. Wherever their refuges are, wherever they have been doing all the evil they are doing against me, today I will pull them down. They will be exposed and will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord have guaranteed my victory he said with prayers and deep desires making requests at all times in the spirit and keeping watch with strong purpose in prayer for all the saints Ephesians 6 verse 18 dear child of God one of the ways you combat in this war is through prayers you need to get into the war room and pray your way to an overcoming joy. You need to get into the war room and pray, hold the hands of your family and tell God exactly what you want to see change in your life. Tell God exactly what you want to see change in your family and you will see it change in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, get your strength together like a man of war. Dear child of God, like a woman of war, get your strength together because the victory is yours already in the mighty name of Jesus and you will have an overcoming joy all the days of your life because God 
have called it done and because it is settled in jesus mighty name dear child of god go through the process because god is making you stronger because god will use you to liberate everyone from their place of obscurity god will use you to lift souls from their place of pain and penury you are going through that pain right now because some the people will go through that pain and you will be their source of encouragement you are going through that difficulty right now because some of the people will go through that difficulty and you will be their source of encouragement you will be that one that will be the light that the others will need to see in the mighty name of jesus so you are mighty you are seen as god's special envoy on the face of the earth in the mighty name of jesus so go all out and tell god please strengthen me for those you have prepared me for strengthen me for those i am to liberate strengthen me for those that will receive their redemption through me position me like you positioned esther keep me in that place that i will be able to touch life like you kept joseph in that place he was going to touch many lives that every member of his family despite all they did against him he will say to them this is the reason that god had planned it you meant it for evil but god had planned it for your good lord god position me in that very place that those who had done me evil those who had hated upon me those who had planned evil against my life will come and see that all the things they had done against me god used it to prepare me for them that i may be a blessing to their life and to everything that concerns them give me the grace give me the strength to keep on with you so that when that time comes when the deliverers will gather when the deliverers will come together in your very mountain that i'll be one of those that will be found in that number in the mighty name of jesus and i want you to show no dear child of god god will find you faithful god will find you worthy enough to take out this assignment and bring victories to every member of your family in the mighty name of jesus so you may be going through pains right now you may be going through stress right now but god is working something out and by the time he is done by the time you see the result of the outcome of the things you had gone through you will give god the glory for taking you through that process in the mighty name of jesus the lord has found you and the lord is raising you as a deliverer a deliverer for your family a deliverer for every single one that he has sent to you that you may be able to directly be a blessing to their life their child of god you have been chosen by god for a special assignment for a special assignment to liberate men dear child of god you have been chosen in your family to liberate every single one in your family that may have been oppressed of the devil the lord have chosen you in your family to set people free the lord have chosen you to break the yokes to destroy the things that are standing as a limitation in your family in the mighty name of jesus the word of god in obadiah chapter 1 verse 17 says but upon mount zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possession i want you to know that god have called you as a deliverer and he has singled you out to do great things for your life and for your family the lord is making you mighty the lord is making you strong the lord is causing you to be able to do exploit and this is what i want you to know everyone's deliverance that are connected to you they shall receive it in the mighty name of jesus everyone that god would need to set free he would do that knowing that he has found you and he will use you as the channel he will use you as that means at which he will touch lives in the mighty name of jesus a great strength is inside of you. A great ability is inside of you. So do not lose your guard now. When you are going through what you are going through, dear child of God, God is preparing you because he will use you to change the lives of many. He will use you to change the lives of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, he told Jeremiah that it was making him harder as a flint he was making him stronger so he will be able to liberate everyone who would need liberation 
in times to come dear child of god this is what i want you to know this is why the lord is taking you through that process you may not understand the pains you are experiencing right now but i want you to know it would turn out to be a blessing when you see the outcome of it when you see how god will through it transform the souls of many when you see how god will use that means to bring the possessions of many into their very hands dear child of god i want you to understand that the pains the heaviness the sadness the sorrows will only be for a season because god is giving you all the strength that you would need when job was going through what he was going through he never knew that soon enough his family will rally round around him again you may be in pain right now you may be going through some stress right now but god will use you to do mighty things god will use you to transform many lives god will use you to touch the souls of men and he's telling you today that you should equip yourself he's telling you today that you should gather strength that there is something he's doing with you there is something he wants to achieve with you and he's telling you that you should hold your forth he's telling you that you should strengthen yourself in the spirit because the hard times will come the difficult times will come but you will be standing and as long as you are standing many others will stand as well the lord will cause your hands to be able to receive that blessings that he has set aside for you and in the same vein you will be able to bring the blessings into the hands of those that he will connect you with in the mighty name of jesus christ and so the word of god had made us to know that deliverers will assemble on mount zion to george Esau's mountain and you are one of those who the Lord is bringing forth. You are one of those that the Lord is raising up to deliver your family. Such as he found Esther. And he will use Esther as a vessel to liberate the Jews. Dear child of God, the Lord has found you. And every single member of your family will know for sure that their liberation was connected to you. Just like the Lord found Joseph. And he will use Joseph to liberate and elevate his brothers and every member of his family that he brought them to the place of prestige. Dear child of God, this is how the Lord will raise you and he will find you as one of those vessels he will use to transform your whole household in the mighty name of Jesus. What God have deposited inside of you, I want you to know it is very mighty. It is very great. And everyone that are in need of deliverance, God is making you stronger. God is positioning you in the place that you will be able to touch their lives directly in the mighty name of Jesus. He says that upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Everyone from the house of Jacob, everyone connected to Jacob, had something they needed to possess. And God connected every of those blessings to Jacob. You see in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 8, the word of the Lord says, The Lord sent a word into Jacob and it had lighted upon Israel. The Lord sent his word to a man, to Jacob, and that word will liberate many. That word will be a light upon the entire Israel. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God will bring his word to you. That word that will cause you to be a blessing to everyone connected to you. Be it by birth or be it by proxy. Whatever means, as long as they are connected to you, God will use you to liberate men in the mighty name of Jesus. He's giving you some special strength. He's giving you a special ability that you will be able to do exploit in our generation, that you'll be able to do exploit in your time, that you'll be able to do exploit for everyone around you. A man was found and he was called a mighty prince amongst them. In Genesis chapter 23 verse 6, they will say of him, Hear us, my Lord, thou art a mighty prince amongst us. Speaking of Abraham, dear child of God, he said, the house of Jacob, shall possess their possessions and your house will possess their possession your lineage your dynasty everyone connected to you will know that they were liberated because you received your own liberation in the mighty name of jesus your family will be known as those that are blessed 
truly blessed and favored of God because you gave your life to God to be used as a service to every single one that will need to be touched in the mighty name of Jesus. So stay put, remain strengthened and tell God, see me through until I've achieved this mission that you have called me for in my family and amongst my loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to assure you, you'll be mighty, you'll be strong and you'll do great exploit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Keep being faithful to God. You will not fail and you will not be disappointed in Jesus' mighty name. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.